Oke okay, berdiri. Oke okay, dah. Direct. Oke okay, dah bang. Good morning Philippines. Good morning Karaga. This is Aymun Ayan Asida, your anchor for today. And this is the Zaytorin TV Radio 97. 97. 97.4. Kala nyo nag-redirect ya ya. Ang nagawa ko lagi because our topic for today is all about my journalism and my maritime journey. So, sabayan nyo ako and let's do this. So, we will be dealing or we will be having this video is pag-uusapan natin yung, di ba, pang nakita nyo from my past videos, I've been talking there about uh, being a journalist Charot lang. <laughs> Being a part of journalism for almost how many years? I think from junior high school into senior high school. Taka lang, super init. Wala na siya. Init. From junior high school down to until now. Kasi wala akong maisip na content. And this is only a requested na ano, ng friend ko din. Na isa ding maritime student. So he said that, ano, uh, to share kung ano ba yung journalist charot na journey ko. Anyway, uh, I've started journalism uh, when I was junior high school back in uh, junior high school pa ako. Uh, I started for I really started uh, for this brand new broadcasting from the Euphorbia. This, the fir my first school publication that I serve is the Euphorbia. Dito, Sabin Province, which is Nyanga Surigal Sur from one of the school here. And then the next is the Glitters when I went to Butuan City when I was having my grade, my 10th grade. And also in Butuan and also in my 11 senior high school is the, what they called, the Orient Tribune. So I've been part of the Tribune. Then until right now, I've been part of the publication, the Layag online publication. So, yan, yan yung mga, uh, this is my journey. So, when I was 9th grade, hindi ko, wala po akong alam dan, sa time na yun, because I think that journalism is only for those people who are, have uh, yung sabi pa nila, matatalino lang, di ba? It's all designed for that. I didn't see myself to be part of that kind of event or that kind of ano so that's it uh, kinuha lang ako kinuha ko ng advisors advisor ko noon and being part of the publication hindi ko alam na pumunta ko dun hindi ko alam kung what do for that but sa sinabi sa akin being part of the online publication so uh, mahirap siya at first for me because it is my first time to encounter that kind of being part of journalism. I didn't know what is the SPC, RSPC, and SPC. I didn't know that before. So, nagwen la ko nun. And siguro for I grabbed the opportunity to be part of it. So, yun, ninth grade ako. May kisa ko sa pai, parang tumasa. And I will start that uh, being radio broadcasting without, sabi ko nga without knowing ano yung radio broadcasting na yun. Nala ko dun. Uh, I'm signing, you know, like sign ako dun, being part of that. Then without knowing, na meron pala siyang anchor, technical director, hindi ko yan alam at first, to be honest. Nagpunta ako, uh, to tell you, di ba? <laughs> uh, I went to Division School Press Conference. It is my first strike in journalism. Without knowing, hindi ko alam pagpunta ko dun. Na ganyan pala. Because wala, wala akong alam, wala akong training. But I tried to surf in the internet kung ano ba yung radio broadcasting na yan. So, yun. Then, I'm in my 10th grade, 10th grade ko, uh, doon ko na nakita, uh, doon ko gusto enhance. Gusto ko lang, doon ko mas nakita is, ano ba talaga yung radio broadcasting na to? So, mas go deeper pa ako. I, I tried, tinry ko siya, again and again. Uh, again, nakadating na ako sa division 
and yun, a great experience na ko nalaman until such time uh, pumunta na din ako sa The Orient Tribune uh, it's my promise to myself when I went to senior high school na hindi na tala ako sasali ng mga ganyan because wala hindi, hindi, gusto ko natalikuran yung ano yan, I don't know <laughs> bakit ganun na uh, binigyan pa rin ako ng opportunity ni Orient Tribune to serve for their school publication and I'm so very happy to for those uh, isa rin sa mga magagaling ng mga uh, radio broadcasters or mga journalists in the region na naka-work ko rin sa Orient Tribune for almost one month so ayan uh, first in ninth grade ako naging anong position ko doon sa radio broadcasting I, I was a script writer then 10th grade ako, I was being a news anchor and then when I was in uh, senior high school I would choose to be a news presenter uh, all of it, uh, grade 9th grade is Filipino, then grade 10th 10th grade is English, then senior high school is again English Yan. so, division lang din siya, I, I'd never been experienced what is regional before kasi hindi ako that kind of, ano <laughs> hindi ko makita yung self ko to be qualified for that pero I'm so very lucky and I have a very great opportunity na even though hindi ko siya naabot pero I've seen different kinds of people sa ibang competition din hindi ko nasasabihin kung ano pero mering, marami akong opportunity na nasalihan like like I didn't see myself to that kind na nakapunta ako sa mga contest na ganyan diba? so Ayan, um, I, I've been working for that. Uh, yung mga grupo ko, to the next level sila. May nakapunta lang yan, SPC and all. So, ayan. So, grade 10 ako. Uh, senior high school ako. Natapos ko na yung senior high school. So, I went to college. So, the course that I've chosen is all about maritime. Diba? So, maraming nagsasabi. If you are a journalist, diba? sabi pa ng mga kakilala ko, why did you choose maritime course? Hindi naman yung passion. Malayo lang doon yung passion ko. Why do did it choose a communication, it's all about communication or political science or so on and so forth basta it's all about communication of course, yeah, bakit daw <laughs> nalaman lang nila na pumili ako ng maritime course so for me uh, hindi ako nag-expect na when I went to academy, the, the school that I was enrolled right now hindi ko lang sasabihin kasi nakakaalam, okay, pero hindi ko nasasabihin. Sa school that I enroll right now, I didn't expect, hindi ko talaga expect ito, that there are some cadets na mas mataas pa yung narating kay sa akin. Imagine, the, the, I have working for those national school, uh, national school, for those national qualifiers, journalists, they're all, they're all a, what we call, cadets and they're all cadets they're same with me na doon ko nakita na wow amazing ko and then to tell you frankly as a, yung pagiging journalist ko being part of uh, journalism serving the school sa mga school na pinag-serve ko sobrang ano nagagamit ko siya kasi wait ko siya because this course that I'm choosing right now is need yeah, for example communication so, the maritime right now, yung mga gusto magiging seaman, yung wanted to become ship officers, you really need to communicate. So, that's why I really, uh, I see myself, nakita ko yung self ko na nagagamit din yung experience ko before as a journalist. Sobrang gamit na gamit niya. So, dun ko nasabi na hindi connected pa rin yung passion ko. The passion is still here. Hindi rin namamatay yung passion ko when it comes to writing, when it comes to speaking in front of you, di ba? So, ito. Ito, vlogging is only a... Ito yung isa lang sa resulta <laughs> sa pagiging part of the uh, radio broadcast or being part of journalism, di ba? Because I have this confidence to be front of this camera. <laughs> so, isa to sa mga naging resulta. That's why... Uh, helpful sa and then next is in this kind of course dito ko nakikita that you will be dealing some international people foreign people so dun nasasabi ko na nagagamit ko talaga siya because it's my experience experience ko talaga for almost 3 years na nakikipag-usap 
sa mga foreign na mga tao, di ba? If you welcome English is one of the main uh, uh, pamaraan para makipag makapag-communicate tayo sa kanila. So we have that kind, di ba? We are being trained for that because Siyempre, English, we've been, we, we, we will be dealing with different kind of nationalities when we went on board. So, nagiga, nagagamit ko siya to speak English, di ba? Sa pagsusulat and all na nangyari sa journalism. The very nice part na nakita ko, I, I think that not, I think there's uh, plenty of maritime academy or a maritime institution who are dealing with it. na meron silang mga uh, publication and luckily and I'm so very blessed to have this one sa miss school na meron ni kaming publication and then ito yung nakakasaya <laughs> hindi lang siya school but also he is uh, nakikita siya for international because we are doing school namin is not only for school publication but we are doing that kind na yung nakikita or yung mga audiences namin is we are dealing it outside the box, di ba? Hindi yung we're not only focusing the audiences na school lang namin, kundi yung iba, di ba? For example, those right time principals or sa mga ganyan, those big bosses from the maritime industry or maritime na yung mga company, di ba? This very, ano, doon ko lang kita na it's a great opportunity with me na naging part ako ng publication na to and hindi na siya radio broadcasting and I didn't expect this to be part of this publication na nagiging staff <laughs> from a radio broadcaster nagiging news editor di ba? nagiging news writer na ko ngayon being a staff for that publication I've been serving it for almost two years right now di ba? so online siya sobrang saya nakakasaya and also that kind of experiences uh, sa so mga na-experience ko na ganyan uh, hindi lang siya puro ano Asaya, di ba? Meron din akong nalalearn at different kinds of where the, the school, the, the, the publication providing us some seminars or trainings, di ba? So, sobrang saya for that. So, ayan, uh, I, I only do this kind of vlog just for those nag-view nito na mga kagaya ko rin who have passion of writing and all. Uh, wag kayong, wag niyong isipin na your passion will be die, di ba? If you have a passion in writing, Tell you honestly, dami akong kakilalang mga maritime students. Dami sa amin. Ako, isa ako dun. That still your passion will be nagagamit yan at nagagamit mo talaga yan. Because, hindi naman talaga yung Because the mindset that, that we have before, when hindi pa tayo nag-enroll sa course na to, it's like, ah, puro ship lang siya, di ba? Pero when you go through for it, when you do for it, kung nandyan ka na sa course like this, I encourage you and I tell you nagagamit niyan. Sobrang gamit niyan. Your communication skills sa English mo, your writing skill, sobrang nagagamit niyan. So, this is my encourage for you for this vlog. I think this is only a raw vlog. <laughs> Wala kasi akong makakamit na content. So, I hope that this vlog is so very helpful to those who are watching right now. Uh, Atuli mo lang yan, what you have right now. magagamit ngayon in the future. So, so, ayan, uh, meron din akong mga classmates or even though may kilala akong mga part of the publication na uh, merong magagaling na cartoonist, I, I, to tell you frankly, I didn't expect that okay, na meron parang mga ganun na mga pumunta sa course na ganito na napakasaya lang na still hindi ka pala yung uh, hindi ka pala nag-iisa when you went this kind of course talagang sobrang happy ko na nalaman ko yun na madami pala mga journalist na pumunta or nag-enrolled same time with me take, diba? give and take lang kami doon sa mga learnings that we have because syempre hindi naman lahat uh, this kind of passion na meron diba? so ayun uh, luckily I'm so very blessed na supportado din kami ng aming school diba? hindi lahat uh, nagkakaroon ng ganyang support pero So, very thankful na meron yung school namin, di ba? We're provided with all kung ano yung gusto namin na, ano, ano yung gusto, ano yung mga inano namin, uh, kailangan namin for that. So, 
Yeah, and also I'm so very glad for this because I think this is only part of the history. Nagiging parte rin ako ng history to do this kind of online publication because hindi ko talaga alam yung online publication before because I have serious uh, I don't also know it's only tabloid. Di ba? Yan yung mga tabloid lang sa school publication. Pero sa amin, our school is providing soon and sooner providing tabloid and also we have this online. Di ba? Na-access siya online. So, ayan. Sobrang saya lang na still, nandun pa rin yung passion mo even though hindi na ganun pa rin no, parika, hindi na pariha hindi na pariha, hindi na kagaya even though hindi na siya kagaya sa high school that meron pang exciting yung competition, di ba? competition talaga so for this uh, the most important here that still your passion is on so yan lang talaga yun, yung most important yung passion mo is nandyan pa rin for those uh, kagaya ko Uh, just put, just continue, choose maritime. Talagang magagamit at magagamit mo yan. Talagang hindi mawawala yung passion mo. Uh, there's a very nice na naghihintay sa'yo when you go for this. So, hanggang dito na lang and see you to my next 